Hi guys, this is Mohammed P, uh, one of the Czech tutors here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, negative angles. So basically, uh, if we consider the unit circle, uh, there are two directions that we can move on the unit circle. One is going clockwise and the other one is going counterclockwise. So as you know, uh, if we move counterclockwise on the unit circle, uh, we consider the angle positive. So basically, uh, an angle is the measure uh, that we make from the horizontal to where the terminal line segment of the angle is. For example, if I'm talking about uh, the measure between the horizontal and this line, I'm talking about this angle, let's say theta. So this angle is positive because it's a star the terminal point is actually located uh, in basically a portion of the circle which is uh, moved counterclockwise from the horizontal. So similarly, if I, if I move in an opposite direction, which is clockwise, uh, I can make like a, neg a negative angle. So let's say I'm moving from the zero, this is theta equals zero, the horizontal line. Then I go to this position so I can actually make angle alpha and that's going to be a negative angle. So this direction is going to be positive and the clockwise direction is going to be negative. So the, we need to uh, discuss two things here. The first one is just uh, locating a negative angle and then the second thing is evaluating the trig functions for a negative angle. So let's uh, review uh, like some uh, special negative angles like negative pi over 2, uh, let's say negative pi uh, or negative 3 pi over 2, and then one random, let's say negative 5 pi over uh, 3. Okay. So here, uh, Mm, let me go uh, to a new page and then show you how to locate a negative angle on a unit circle. Okay, so we start uh, with negative pi over 2. So as you know, pi over 2 is corresponding to 90 degree uh, on a unit circle. So uh, since this is negative pi over 2, we are going to move in a clockwise direction and we only move 90 degrees in that direction. So if I start from theta equals zero, I need to end right here. Let me change the color. Okay, right here, which is going to be, uh, um, let's say theta equal, um, let's say theta one, yeah, equal negative pi over two. So I have moved from this point 90 degree clockwise and I got to the position which is theta 1 equal negative pi over 2. So similarly if, if I want to actually find uh, negative pi I would continue in the same direction going one more 90 degree here so I would get to this position which is theta 2 equal negative pi and similarly again uh, we, if I want to find negative 3 pi over 2, going one more 90 degrees here, getting to theta 3 equal negative 3 pi over 2. So as you see, you can reach to all the angles like the po in the positive direction, just going uh, in the opposite way, uh, like clockwise, and achieving all those positions. Okay, so if I want to actually try something... Uh, like random, let's say, uh, pi, uh, negative 5 pi over 3. Okay, uh, 5 pi over 3 is a 5 times, I can rewrite this 5 times pi over 3. I know pi over 3 uh, is like 60 degree, so I can actually, if I divide the whole circle to the, let's say, 6 pieces, each piece is going to be 60 degree, because 60 degree times 6 is 360, that's going to be the whole circle. So since this is a negative angle, I'm going to start from the 
theta equals zero and going clockwise. So uh, one um, multiple of pi over three is going to be here. That's going to be negative pi over three. The second one is going to be right here, negative two pi over three. And if I go one more, it's going to be here, negative three pi over three, which is negative pi, obviously. And if I go one more is right here, that's going to be negative four pi over three. And then finally, I can get the other one here, which is negative five pi over three. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be this angle is starting from zero, going all the way to that position. That's actually my theta, let's say theta four, which is negative pi over three. Okay, so this is about uh, how we locate actually angles. Uh, now we are going to discuss about um, how we evaluate the trig functions for these negative angles. That's going to be very simple. So just we need to know some formulas here. So I'm going to write on the board. Uh, let's say we are going to talk about sine of negative theta, cosine of negative theta, and similarly for tangent and cotangent, and also secant negative theta and uh, cosecant negative theta. Okay, so uh, if you look at the graphs of the sine and cosine and tangent and cotangent, uh, similarly we can see, for example, the graph of sine looks like something like this. This is going to be like a an odd function, the reason is because the graph of sine is totally symmetric uh, about the origin. So when you have um, a, an odd function, the, if you change the input to negative, the function is going to be negative of the original one. So basically we can pull out the negative out of the function if the function is uh, odd. So this was sine um, theta. If you look at the graph of the cosine function, cosine theta, that's going to be like an even function because the graph is symmetric about the y-axis. So here is y, here is x. Okay, so as you see the red function, which is the cosine theta, is totally symmetric about the y-axis so nothing's gonna change here and the cosine whatever for example you get for theta here for the negative theta you would get the same thing so uh, if I wanna actually explain this one in terms of sine for example if this is theta you get like a positive value here but this is negative theta so you get a negative value here so as you see it's uh, like uh, mm, a symmetric about the origin for the sine and it's symmetric about the y-axis for cosine. So nothing changes for uh, cosine theta, so the cosine of negative theta is going to be simply cosine of theta. And so based on the definitions that we have for uh, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant, we can actually using these two uh, and defining uh, the negative angles for the the rest of them. So tangent we know it's sine over cosine so it's sine of negative theta over cosine of negative theta that's going to be negative sine theta over cosine theta so it's going to be negative tangent theta. For the cotangent is the same thing so we have cosine of negative theta over sine of theta I mean sine of negative theta so it's going to be positive cosine theta and negative sine theta that's going to be negative cotangent theta. So similarly for the secant, secant is 1 over sine, so 1 over sine, I mean sorry, 1 over cosine, 1 over cosine um, negative theta, that's going to be 1 over cosine theta and that's basically secant of theta. So that's going to be like an even function since the cosine is an even function. And for the cosecant is one over sine negative theta. So since sine negative theta is negative sine theta, it's going to be negative cosecant theta. So 
So basically the only two that they are even and the negative of the angle would be the same as the positive angle for them is going to be cosine and secant that they are like even functions. The rest are odd functions and you can uh, evaluate uh, them for a negative angle by just pulling out the negative out of them. Okay, so uh, if I want to give you like some numerical examples, we can uh, take a look at, uh, for example, we can say um, sine of, uh, let's say, negative 3 pi over 4. So uh, easily we can pull out the negative here and we can say, okay, that's equal to negative sine 3 pi over 4. And then that's going to be negative root 2 over 2 because we know the sine of 3 pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. Like another example, let's say, um, for example, uh, tangent of negative uh, 3 uh, 4 pi third yeah 4 part uh, 4 pi third so as we said we can actually pull out the negative out so that's going to be negative tangent of 4 pi third so 4 pi third is going to be in a third quadrant and it has a tangent exactly equal to the tangent of uh, let's say yeah it's pi third I believe we can draw this with no problem here so uh, 4 pi third is right here the reference angle for this is pi third so it's going to have the tangent of pi third uh, but there is a negative be careful because we pulled it out uh, at the beginning so that's going to be negative root 3 uh, yeah but it, that's basically it so I hope that you enjoyed uh, the lesson and understanding better um, the negative, how the negative angles work and uh, I would be happy to help you like with more specific questions about this. If you want you can message me uh, at the link that I provided on the first page right here and, and I would be happy to assist you with that. Uh, so please wait for the future videos that I'm going to upload. Uh, I hope that you all enjoyed and I wish the wonderful day for you guys. Have a good one. Bye.